Hold on. Let's talk about this Ryobi charger. Someone came to me and told me they have a charger. They would like me to check out for them. I told them, okay, but if you bring in the charger, bring batteries with it. Because I know usually <clears throat> people do throw chargers away and there is nothing wrong with the chargers, it's just the battery. Now when I got this, I didn't uh, check it out right away. I decided to check the batteries out first. But what I noticed, this was already opened and it had a gap. So I tightened the screws back. Now, as far as I can see, the charger is good. It has a five volt jack right here. If you can see this. the charger is putting out and if you do put a battery in it you would see it's blinking now so the charger is working so that part of the thing I rule out now you could also take a multi-purpose meter and check the leads it's a 18 volt charger if you notice it's putting out so that was ruled out So I decided to check on the batteries. Now it has five screws, two at the bottom, two at the top and one in the center. The other test you can do is see if it have a voltage. It has plus minus i think that might be the sense or this down here might be the sense i'm not sure which one and as you see it's not putting out anything So I decided to open it. Now on this one, on both of them they had this which was here for security purposes.
you would have to take out the five screws the screwdriver is a t10 with a that hole in the center and you would shake gently and pull up now the that portion is stuck in there and it won't come out because of the two side clips so you'd have to get something and pry it down and once you get hold of it then you pull up that's what was keeping it from coming out now to get this out the battery pack you would have to take out these clips if you don't take them out you won't be able to get the battery pack out and then you slide out this is the battery pack now to test your pack you put your multi-purpose meter on DC and you look for negative and positive here it mark battery plus and down here it mark battery minus so you would put your leads huh, on plus and minus you see 8.3 that is an 18 volt battery pack but bypassing the border and doing it direct you'd either get 19 or 20 volts now when you check the batteries individually No, you don't have to switch the leads around because you will still get a voltage but you'll get either minus or or, or plus now according to this we have 2.92 there is only one good battery in the pack 2.99 3.05 that's the only good battery in the pack the other one is 214 this one is 21 10 so I try reviving the individual batteries but it they won't take charge they went down too low so to revive that or to get that back you would have to get batteries these batteries are LG you'd have to order a set of batteries but there is nothing you can do to this in that state to revive it not even bumping them with another battery pack would bring it back because the control board which the BMS shuts down anything going to the battery 
because of the voltage. The other thing you could do is taking them out and trying to charge them individually. Now to get this out, it has some screws here and here it has four screws. You would have to de disorder these leads and break that. This one and that one because the the plus and minus is soldered on the border but the others are not the others are just free with these jumpers on them and you would take out the border now i don't know if they are there could be because there is a channel here and a channel here two screws that hold this together but once you take out the border this comes apart it just comes apart and you break these tabs and charge or if you replace in the batteries back now to put it in this little cradle goes with that so you cannot put it back to front it only goes in one way it fits in you take the tabs there are two grooves you slide it down Do the other side and you put the top back and you put your screws in. This is it for this video. I hope you learn something from it. If you do, please like, comment, subscribe. Until the next one, goodbye and thank you.